Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, joined by just Michael and Fritz of NYC's, reviewing more beer that I brought back from Trillium. This is one of the cans that I got from Nick, uh, and actually the oldest can of the bunch. Uh, and I actually thought that I brought this with me to California to review in California because it was one of the I brought like most of the older stuff to review quickly, mm. but for some reason I picked this up and I don't remember why, but. <laughs> This is the Permutation Series, another permutation beer, number 40, a double IPA with lactose, orange peel, and vanilla. So pretty much orange creamsicle mm. inspired IPA. And I believe this beer inspired Kitar Bear or something like that. Those like because Kitar Bear is a triple IPA, but it's also like orange creamsicle inspired, which is a tribute to a street musician in Boston who dresses plays a guitar and has a bear helmet or a bear <laughs> mask on. It's kind of funny. I think he actually played at some Trillium events too. Okay. Uh, but this one is, yeah, their interpretation of orange creamsicle. It's made 8.1%. The hop is Citra, and the malt bill is American Two Row, flake oats, honey, malt again, and uh, yeah, lactose. So this will be fun to try. I mean, we've had very orange for an IPA, so now mm -hmm. we go straight into orange creamsicle. So yep. color is to me pretty much exactly the same as yeah. the Simcoe permutation. Yeah. Here. It is. That kind of mandarin orange type thing, rust orange. Yep. A little bit or darker than the previous one. It's yeah, the other one was very bright. Yeah. Uh, but definitely like the, the darker shade of orange. Mm. And a nice kind of off-white. Yeah. Head on there. Still in the aroma. Yep. <laughs> Oi. Oi. <laughs> that really smells Ooh. like orange creamsicle. Like, oh. yeah, it does. Whoa. There's a lot of vanilla. Like, a lot I'm, of I'm thinking vanilla. Of, I'm thinking of like soft ice. Yeah. yeah, soft ice or milk, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but actually, if you eat an orange creamsicle or just like a Kuppenhaunerstein, which is pineapple, yeah, uh, that inside, uh, the, the, the inside, like yeah. that filling is like so, like vanilla ice cream. The lactose and vanilla working together. Yeah, just, yeah. And it's funny, when I had a little rattle cutting tiles, I got a similar experience, but this is just like even more okay. creamsicle. This is, this is very good. And actually, it smells orange. quite yes. insane. <laughs> it smells pretty smells crazy. Very good. Yeah. It makes you crave for dessert. Yeah, 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 it does. It's quite the dessert IP. Like, the weather in Denmark has been insane. We're sitting inside, the sun is blazing outside, but we're sitting inside because it's so hot outside. I mean, it's crazy. Denmark never gets this hot. Uh -huh. And it's like uh, 30 some degrees? 30, 31, yeah. 31 so, degrees, yeah. which is like somewhere in the 90s, which is unheard of here usually. Mm -hmm. So it's just blazing hot. We rarely get summers like this, so it's way too hot to sit outside. But outside, if it was a little cooler, that would be perfect this year because yeah. it's yeah. so ice cream like. It is to smell that even. Yeah, it's like an orange Kuppenhauer style. It is, much, if you know what much. that is. Yeah, but it smells like an orange creamsicle. Let's see if it tastes like an orange creamsicle. Yes. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks to Nick for the beer. <laughs> it tastes exactly like an orange creamsicle. Whoa. It does. It is so ice cream. So sweet. I. I wow. That is so fun. I actually think, so my big beef with Kitar was it was too sweet because it was a triple IPA. This seems similar to that beer, just <coughs> dialed down a bit on the sweetness. Mm. Even though that was really good, I think I gave it like a 90. Damn, I, you know, this sweeter would be too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this is like maximum. right there at the maximum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this that is... also really makes it taste like a creamsicle. Yeah. It's really good. A melted, <laughs> melted creamsicle. <Yeah. laughs> You pretty much took yourself, like your Kuppenhauer style or whatever, and melted into the glass. Like yeah. loads of vanilla and lactose sweetness yeah. and this creamsicle. But cool. there is also... Like the vanilla ice cream thing. And then like all that orange. There is also something that could be reminiscent of pineapple. Right? Yeah. So. yeah. And there's also a, some stone fruit. Like, yeah. you know, like Definitely like a little bit of apricot yeah. one. But the vanilla is so overwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> really, really yeah. sweet. It is crazy. But I don't think it's, it's too bad. Uh, it's not too much. It, because it makes it really taste like the ice cream. It's a pastry. <laughs> pastry it's a pastry IPA. IPA. Yeah. yeah you can or ice cream IPA. That's a new thing then, I guess. Yeah. That people are going to do ice cream IPAs. Um, not only on the pole. No. But on the aftertaste, I do get a little bit of a maltiness. Like a light, sweet malt. Yeah. yeah. But the bitterness is almost non existent. Oh, no. But then again, if it was bitter, it wouldn't taste like an orange cream soda. No. But maybe it was a bit more dry when it was fresh. Yeah. Man, the is, uh, but yeah. but it's actually not bad at all. No, 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 not at all. But I think it's a hit and miss for for a lot of people. Yeah, because yeah. also the the Ama uh, all shook up the vanilla IPA. 
I thought it was fantastic. I could see a lot of people disagreed with me because mm -hmm. it is it is a a tricky yeah. kind yeah. of beer. And I think it's the same with this one because I think a lot of people are like, oh, vanilla yeah. in an IPA. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. just weird. But for what it is, it, it's for, yeah, and I think it really emulates the flavor mm -hmm. of orange cream it is. really well, which is very fun. Yeah. So I, I think I'm going to go 96. On this one. 95, 96. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to agree. I'm, I'm going to go with 96 too because this is. Uh, yeah, 96. I, I really, I really enjoy it actually. Yeah. I think it's so fun because it's so candy like and so ice cream like. And I, it reminds yeah. me of almost drinking an Omnipoyo beer actually. It is perfect mm. for the heat. Mm. Also to drink. Ooh. It's a shame you can't I buy think, it. I think I'm a bit lower than you guys, 94. Wow. But I still First think thing. it's very good. It is very nice. I really, I don't know. I, is it too much vanilla for you? No, it's just... Uh, it's maybe a bit one-dimensional for me. I guess it's one-dimensional, but, that's, but that's, that's what it's trying yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah. But, so. yeah. but it's, it's very good. It's a fun it's, beer. I'd say if you have a can of number 40 in the fermentation series, crack it now and drink it now. Um, I think I gave, actually, it's kind of the same grade I gave Kitar Bear, something along those lines. I can't remember. Drank a lot of beer in the States. But, very fun beer, guys. Definitely let us know what you thought of the number 40 in the fermentation series from Trillium, if you had a chance to try it. I have one more beer in this series, which is made with experimental hops. And then I've reviewed a lot of different ones, actually. But, um, I think, actually, this, along with the sour or some of the highlights in that series. So okay. No, no, not the sour. Some of the, there was like a weird adjunct stout I had at the brewery. Ah. I can't remember what it was, but yeah. It's a fun series to check out for sure if you want to try some small batch stuff from Trillium. But if you had it, as I said, let us know. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers in melted orange creamsicle. And yeah. see you guys in another beer review.